Hey guys, I'm Al Roof and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to get a bright, white and most importantly healthy smile. I'm going to be sharing with you my whole entire oral care routine and it's pretty amazing even if I say so myself. I mean the proof is in the smile. Seriously though, I think it's so important to invest in something that you're going to have for your whole entire life. This is my only set of teeth. I'm not planning on replacing them and having fake teeth anytime soon. And I'm only 23 and I recently realised that, you know, I need to get my act together. So I've cultivated what I think is one of the best oral care routines. <laughs> okay, first things first, I know people have short attention spans. I know it, our generation, this day and age, we're talking about the fact that people can't even watch something for like 10 minutes, but oral hygiene is so, so important. I mean, your teeth represent you, your smile represents you for your whole entire life. And you know what, it's not just about whitening. I used to use Crest whitening strips and my teeth would look white, but oh my gosh, my dentist would be having a go at me. They weren't healthy, I was having toothache, I'm having root canals, oh my gosh, it was the worst. So just be, it's not just about Cut, like changing the color. It's about making sure your mouth is healthy, like having a dentist clean feeling for the whole day. Yes, not going like this. And feeling disgusting furry plaque all over your teeth. Like that's, that's gotta change. This is 2020, enough of that. You should be able to have a clean smile. This video is gonna cover everything because oral hygiene is a holistic approach. Brushing, the company that I like to use, flossing, toothpaste, mouthwash, everything is covered. So watch the whole video. Full disclaimer, although I'm pretty convincing, I'm not an expert, I did not go and study dentistry, I did a law degree, but I feel like I've looked at the evidence and come to an excellent conclusion on how to get an amazing, bright, healthy, white smile. If this isn't a good enough intro, I don't know what is, so let's just get straight into the video. The first thing we're going to talk about is brushing. My old landlady in Cardiff was a dental hygienist and one day she noticed that I was brushing my teeth and she was like, what on earth are you doing? Like, are you even well? And I was like, yeah, I think so. She was so horrified that I was brushing my teeth like this. Like, just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And essentially, she told me and told me that the best way to brush your teeth to have a healthy, white smile is to do one tooth at a time. Yes, I know it sounds tedious, but just going back, back and forth really quickly is not gonna clean your teeth properly. Now, this might be obvious to some of you, but to me, I was just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I've literally been doing this my whole entire life. To me, it's changing to that brushing method of making sure I clean each and every tooth one at a time instead of just rushing through it is what's helping me to have a really healthy smile because sometimes I feel like I just wasn't cleaning, getting into every single thing. And this is why, it's just laziness. Just think when you're brushing your teeth and go back over each and every single tooth. Also, as if it's not obvious, I use an electric toothbrush, okay? I love having an electric toothbrush. An electric toothbrush is just efficient, it's quick, and I feel like it gets the job done so much better. It's kind of like brushing your floor with a normal, basic dustpan and brush, or using a hoover, you know? It's, you're gonna get the job done a lot quicker. I love using an electric toothbrush. And the one I use will be linked down below. Next up, I'd love to tell you guys a bit about the company that I've recently found and loving, and that is Spotlight Oral Care. Now, some of you are probably thinking, I've seen this all over my Instagram, I've seen celebrities plugging it, some of you might never have heard it at all, because you know, cookies, it's adverts are sometimes geared towards some people and not other people, but honestly, Spotlight Oral Care has been amazing, the game changed for me, the thing that helped me like actually have a proper routine, and I get all my products, apart from my toothbrush, from them. And the good thing is, is that they're not trying to break your budget. They're really reasonable and I love them. So here are the reasons why I chose Spotlight Oral Care and there's actually really important reasons too. I love that it's an independent business and that it's UK based. And also one of the things why I like that it's UK based is because obviously we have different regulation standards and I just trust the UK more than most places. And that's not to offend anyone living in other countries. Spotlight Oral Care actually delivers lots of places. This video is not sponsored, okay? Like this is just my genuine, honest opinion. But I just love that when things are UK based because I love to support, you know, UK businesses. <laughs> Another thing about the company is that the owners are actually still, well, to this day that I'm making this video, practicing dentists. That just made me trust them a little bit more. Like I said, I used Crest whitening strips and the Crest whitening strips were, you know, really harsh. Like they became white, but I feel like they were wrecking my teeth. And there's something about having dentists create something because, you know, they're the experts. And so I fully, I like, I trust that even more compared to, you know, just other things I see on the internet. And adding on to that element of trust, they weren't making massive and huge claims. It seems like, you know, these two women and whoever else in the company were genuinely trying to educate people. I took a good look at their Instagram. I joined in one of their Q and A's online and they were just so helpful and just 
building trust because you know your mouth is really important and the thing that made me actually go and make my first purchase was that I went onto the attack and I do this with most companies that I haven't really tried before and it seems to be just all like all over my Instagram. I don't really trust it because so many people sponsoring them. I went onto their tagged photos and I just found a re regular person who tagged them in their photo. I messaged her and I was just like, are you sponsored? Did you actually like the product? Like, did you see much difference? And she was raving about it. Like, she was so excited. And I just thought that speaks volumes that these products are actually really good. So I really recommend that even if you're not, not even not just with Spotlight Oral Care, but with new things that you're trying on the internet, find someone who's actually just a regular person who's tried it themselves and loved it. Not just listen to people who are sponsored and paid to tell you that the products are amazing. Because the thing is about celebrities, they have incredible dentists and they have, they don't just, and it's not just the only things they use. And if you think and you buy the fact that they're saying, oh, this is all I use, then babes, you're dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you're better than that, okay? So find people, regular girls like me, who, who are telling you that these products actually work. Another thing that's so good about this company is they have excellent customer service. So I, in my first order, one of the products had spilled, so I ordered a mouthwash and it spilled in the packaging that, when it arrived. And so I messaged them on Instagram and they got back to me pretty soon and they sent me a new one without even causing a drama or a fuss and I was just like, yes. This is what I like to see. I love excellent customer service. Because, you know, I'm always ready to give constructive feedback if your customer service is not good. But, you know, I had nothing to say to them. They realized there was an issue, they apologized, they fixed it. And that's kind of what you want. And finally, the thing I love the most about this company is that they're environmentally friendly and they're thinking about the environment. And we've got to, we can't be selfish, we can't just be ordering stuff online with lots of things that are wrecking the environment. And so we're saying that we want to be people who care about our environment. It's good to buy from companies who are taking that into consideration using their packaging and everything like that. So yeah, this is why I like them. Now over to the section of the video that you're all dying to hear about, the whitening strip. The thing that's gonna help you stop using airbrush to whiten up your smiles. Yes, I know you've been using those apps to whiten your smiles. Don't even try and lie. It's a Sunday. Well, it's a Sunday today when I'm filming this video. So the spotlight whitening strips come in a tub like this. They include 14 pouches or of white strips in this little pouch like this. And they include a whitening toothpaste. Now for the price I paid, that is so good to get a very good whitening toothpaste and quite a large amount as well and whitening strips this was a bargain it seems too good to be true but i'll insert some photos at the beginning of the 14 days before using any products from spotlight and the 14 days after using all the strips in the pouch and the toothpaste and the mouthwash and the floss and you can see the difference yourself so for the most part like i said i've used crest whitening strips before um and so like my teeth weren't the, they weren't the yellowest of teeth, you know, they, they weren't the whitest of teeth, but they weren't the yellowest, most yellow. Yellowest, is that even the, I don't even know. But, but my problem area were the gaps in between my teeth. But as you can see, like this whole entire process has whitened that up a lot. So yeah, let me talk to you about the whitening strips. They are incredibly sticky. Like people complained, I saw some complaints online about the fact that they're incredibly, incredibly sticky, but I like that. It meant that I can go along my day, I could still speak on the phone. Um, they really, it felt like all of the whitening goodness was really stuck in my teeth. But just, you gotta be really careful when you pull them off. You're not gonna cause any damage to your teeth, but that's one of the things about them. They cause no sensitivity. Now again, how many times I said I've used Crest whitening strips, like, you know, they're amazing. I'd say like, compared to the whitening level and speed of whitening, I'd say two of these strips is equivalent to one of the Crest whitening strips. But the difference is, is that long term, it would be better than you'd have whiter teeth using these because it's not like stripping the enamel and all the stuff that make your teeth, protect your teeth and keep them white anyway. And so my teeth weren't like feeling like they were being damaged and bleached. It just felt like a really gentle process. And I was seeing results day by day. So much so that after the 14 days, I went and ordered another pouch. I haven't even finished the toothpaste. And now this is part of my weekly routine. I'll use strips once a week just to keep and maintain my white bright, healthy smile. <laughs> One of the things I wanted to say is that you do not need to leave these strips longer than it re it's recommended to on the packet. I know some people will get whitening strips and they'll put them on, leave them on overnight because they think the longer they have them there, like the better for you. Like that's just not the case. You'll get saliva and stuff in there. It's it kind of doesn't make much of a difference. You leaving them on longer whitening wise, it just causes more damage on your teeth and on your gums for having those sorts of products on your teeth for a prolonged amount of time. So just read the instructions guys and follow them. 
So yeah, the strips are great. I love them. They work, they aren't damaging, and they now have a permanent place on my oral hygiene routine. Moving on to toothpaste. I've already spoke about the whitening toothpaste and how it works, and it's amazing. And even when I'm not using the strips, I can tell that this toothpaste is keeping my teeth white. I use this in the morning for the most part. And in the evenings, I like to use this rebuilding toothpaste. So the rebuilding toothpaste is for thinning enamel, translucent enamel, weak or chipping teeth. And why I like using this is because I feel like, because I have quite an acidic diet, that's what my dentist told me. My dentist is so hot. <laughs> I don't even know why you guys need to know that. But I felt like it was a necessary piece of information in this video. Anyway, he says I have quite an acidic diet and it's not good that I have so much fruit and it's like damaging my enamel. And so I just got a toothpaste that's really helping with that. Um, I can tell it works. I feel like it's really hard to describe how it works because obviously you don't see what my teeth are like. You can't feel when they're aching or sore or sensitive because I have naturally sensitive teeth anyway. I found that this toothpaste has been really helpful and my enamel doesn't look as thin. It looks so much healthy. And yeah, this, this element isn't about whitening, but it is important for people like me who are striving to have a healthier smile and especially combating all the things that you're doing that's damaging your enamel. Another thing I want to say about toothpaste is don't be scared to use a little bit more, you know? If you're brushing your teeth properly sometimes, I find one tooth at a time, sometimes I feel like I've run out of toothpaste or I'm wearing thin or there's more saliva ratio to toothpaste in my mouth, and so I spit it out, rinse my toothpaste off, put some more toothpaste on that. You know, this isn't the area to skimp on in life. There are things in life that, you know, you can skimp on a little bit, but you know, why do it with your oral care routine? Like why do it with something that's so important and that you're gonna have for life? So I'm not afraid to use a bit, a little bit more toothpaste. You're not a five-year-old. It's not like a teeny, teeny, tiny, tiny pea size. Um, so I like to use as much toothpaste as I need. Some days I put enough on, some days it just feels like, you know, I'm running low and I just wanna have a clean smile. And honestly, doing this and, and committing to a good routine and being intentional with my oral hygiene routine has made me have like a really, like clean smile because I felt like sometimes with my old routine I could feel plaque over my teeth you know that's nasty like that's so gross um throughout the day but even now like I've eaten loads today my smile still feels healthy and clean and nice um and not like it's got gunk all over it moving on to the star of the show flossing I hated flossing I literally hated flossing so 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 much because I felt like flossing would just hurt my gums I didn't really see much of a difference. It felt like a chore and I wasn't really seeing any visible signs of improvement. But like I said, my dentist is very cute and persuasive. I recently just moved to London, so I've just got a new dentist and he's very charming. And so I decided to get into this flossing thing just for him. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. For myself. Um, seriously, though, no, for myself. And I got this floss and this floss is absolutely amazing. Like, as you can see on the photos that I've shown you before, let me bring up the before again. My problem area was the yellowness in the cracks. Like it was, it was, it was gross. Like that is, that is disgusting, okay? And I just couldn't understand why because I, I like clean my teeth all the time. Like that yellowness wouldn't go away. So I got this floss and this floss is specifically for decay and remineralizing. Um, and it's got like active ingredient of fluoride on the floss. And oh my gosh, the first time I used it, it was like it was taking stuff, like it was, I can't even explain to you like it was brilliant like it was it, I could really see that it was cleaning off like that yet like those stains tea, tea, tea stains whatever they are um just off my teeth and they didn't like really make like fix so sometimes my gum bleeds because I'm not careful with it I'm not going to show you how to floss look I'm not your dentist okay but I floss my teeth the way my dentist told me to, to do it and I found that it was really working and there's something about this floss is that it almost expands a little bit as it gets wet and as you use it and it deposits like this white tea like stuff like in the middle of your teeth. I don't know if like those are like the active ingredients, but it leaves stuff on there. And I kind of just leave it on for a little bit, just let it do its magic before I go on with whatever I'm doing next. Um, but this floss works. I just feel like to me, the fact that the floss is so good, is just a pure sign that this was created by dentists because it just works. It's like the person who created this knows what they were doing. And I just love it. Can I just say again, I'm not sponsored. I should have been sponsored because I just love this company, but yeah, like this loss is amazing, really recommend it. And I got the one for decay, but you can get the one for whitening. The thing is, is that, I'm gonna say it again, it's not just about having whitening done or having a white smile, it's about having a healthy smile, a smile that's actually gonna be white long term, not just for the next 20 days. And so for me, the issue was like decay, not wanting, like, I feel like everything around your gums and flossing in between is just focusing on decay, not really whitening. And even though I didn't pick one for whitening, it has helped to whiten my smile. You see, health equals whitening, I'm telling you this. Last, but definitely not least, is the mouthwash. Now, I really like this mouthwash. It's really cool. It's got a, um, almost like a, 
self-filling mechanism, pretty basic, but I'll show you. So you can just squeeze it and it fills up itself. Crap. I just put that all over my carpet, but essentially you squeeze it and it fills up on its own so you know exactly how much to use. It's not even the most important thing in the world, but it's a nice touch. I don't use mouthwash every single day. I try to, but I don't use it every single day. But I found that when if you've had a dental procedure, if your gums are feeling sore, or for me, like I, before I got my act together, way before quarantine and everything like that, I was supposed to have a root canal and we, I wasn't sure what to do with that tooth and it was just really problematic. And this is before I had an excellent oral hygiene routine. And so I had to have a temporary filling in place whilst I decided and all that stuff. Um, and I found that it was just really sore, but inflamed. And when I was using this mouthwash, it just was just really helping. Everything cooled down. My gums felt healthy and clean. Also, you know, it's good for your nasty ass bad breath. The mouthwash is good. I don't really know whether I'd say you need to get the one from Spot, Spotlight Oral Care. To be honest, I just got it all together. It all works together. It complements each other. It was created by dentists. I'm happy with it. It's changing my life. I have a healthy smile. My smile looks amazing. Whether you get the mouthwash or not is entirely up to you. So yeah, that was my oral hygiene routine. I take pride in doing it. I love looking after myself. I think that learning to love yourself is learning to look after yourself. And it's not a chore to me. It's something that's become a part of my routine, um, something I do without thinking. And so I hope it inspires you to have a excellent oral hygiene routine all the products i mentioned will be listed down below and if you are not yet subscribed click that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video see you later baby bye felicia <laughs>